fleas pages, hashtags, campaigns, and CRM. I want to start here before we get into single property squeeze pages and how to do them. Um, I want to remind you that squeeze pages and hashtags, campaigns, and the CRM, these things all work together. So your squeeze page, just to remind you, your squeeze page is a link that you create from your KD Core lead engine in your KD Core dashboard. Then you take that link and you post it to a variety of things. So as an example, let's say I want to, um, I want to create a list of, in, in 49507, a zip code that I live in, I want to create a list of all the homes under $150,000 in my zip code. Um, so I'm gonna create this list, 49507, but under 150,000, so, so I'm getting like the super starter homes, you know, the, the lower end uh, price points for whatever reason, that's what I want to do. And I am going to create, curate that list. And let's say there's going to be 25 homes that meet that criteria in that list and create that link. And then I'm going to take that link and I'm going to post that link to, maybe I'm going to create a blog post in my KV Core dashboard. In, from my KB4 website, I'm going to create a blog post about homes under $150,000 and, you know, the types of homes that are available and maybe the 49507 neighborhood and that, that zip code and what's available and, you know, the schools and blah, blah, blah. And then I have a list of, ah, oh, here's all the homes in 49507 um, that are available under $150,000 and I include that in the blog post. So that's one place I might put a link like that. Another place might just be my Facebook business page. Um, maybe LinkedIn, depending LinkedIn's, you know, I wouldn't hammer LinkedIn to, you know, property postings. I would use LinkedIn to really connect with your vendors, your affiliates, your, um, and other realtors. But, um, maybe you have a YouTube video about that neighborhood or about that zip code and you put it in the video description. Um, maybe you send an email, uh, a newsletter to your whole database and you include different lists. Hey, here's all the homes in our area under $103,000. Here's all the homes in our area over $500,000, whatever you want. So you might include it in an email list, or you might even send it in a text message to your database, okay? So, um, or it, in a, maybe it's a call capture text code. Maybe you send out a flyer uh, to, to everybody in 49507, and you say text, you know, deal, to your smart number, and you're gonna get a list of all the homes in our area under $150,000. So those are different things that you're gonna do with this squeeze page, okay? Um, hashtags. Hashtags um, are tags, they're words, um, codes, if you will, that you're going to assign to a lead that comes in from a squeeze page. So when I create a squeeze page, like mm, a listing, my new listing at 123 Main Street, I am gonna create a hashtag that says 123 Main Street, okay? So that I can um, categorize it. I can find that lead. So I can search 123 Main, Main, 123 Main Street and I'm gonna find all the leads that came in from, from that um, by using that hashtag. Or I'm gonna activate a specific campaign with a hashtag. I want a specific campaign to talk to that type of lead, you know. So, um, I have a Google. I have a Google ad right now. I do have a Google ad. I spend a very tiny, tiny bit of money on it, <clears throat> um, but it's for sellers. And um, I have the the hashtag Google Seller on that that link I created, so that when I get leads from that squeeze page, and I can type in Google seller that helps me track that ad better. And I can start a campaign that talks specifically to those leads that came in Google. Hey, you requested the value of our home from my link on Google the other day. What did you think of the value? So I can just be more personal. Um, anyway, so that's, that's, how squeeze pages, hashtags, campaigns, and the CRM work together. That's just me explaining it. 
And throughout these videos, as we're doing this, I'm also showing you how this works, okay?